Bay. And I'm Eva Hawkinson. And we're a uh, husband and wife. And we really do enjoy all kinds of electric vehicle stuff. And we ended up in land speed because they got the best racers you're dealing with here. Really good sportsmanship. And also, the, the main reason we went into land speed racing, we did drag racing previously and, and still do a little bit. The first question I always get, at least in nine, of, 9 out of 10 cases, I get the question, how fast will this vehicle go? That's what the general public is interested in. And in We're drag gonna racing... We're going to do how fast? You, you, you do land speed racing. It only makes sense. The format that's, you know, that is conducive to, long, to high speeds. Drag racing, you only got a quarter mile to get up to speed. So it's hard to get up to speed in a quarter mile. When we previously ran the drag bike, which is really fast, it does a quarter mile in the sevens, which is respectable time in drag racing, but for general people that doesn't mean anything. Seven. Seven what? Seven, seven seconds to, to 60? That, that's a family car. I mean... It's zero to 60 in less than a second. And it's a quarter mile in seven seconds and it's doing... 174 and a quarter mile. And, and, but to the general public, that doesn't really mean anything. Anything. So right. we came to the conclusion, uh, we need to do something that goes really fast, because that's what matters to people. And, and, well, why do we want to go fast? Well, this vehicle here is really eco-activism in disguise. People think I'm out here doing a hardcore race or building my ego. I'm out for the thrill of racing. That isn't really the truth. She, she doesn't really like to race that much. She <laughs> likes to build it. And I would think that if she put somebody else in it, she, that would actually prefer it. She's not a big risk taker or anything like that. But the sponsors like me to drive it. Because <laughs> girl, is, it's good PR. So And also, I have to admit that my ego likes it, even if I'm, if I'm not after the thrill. You're also a good role model for young people. I mean, girls like to, they like to know that they can do it too. And, and it takes a girl doing something to show that, that to them that they can do it themselves. Yeah. So that's how, how we get into land spin racing is simply, uh, I decided that I wanted to answer the standard question, how fast does it go? I wanted to be able to say 400 miles per hour. We're more than halfway there, <laughs> it's a long process, but that's what, how, how the whole thing started. Eva's an, uh, a mechanical engineer, a uh, master's in mechanical engineer from DU, Denver Univ University of Denver. And I'm a, a bachelor's in mechanical engineering from uh, University of Colorado. I work in, uh, for uh, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, actually a faculty member at CU. 
and Eva is uh, in research. She's go we're going for a doctorate right now, and she's at uh, at DU, uh, and she'll have her doctorate in hopefully two years. Well, hopefully, I will actually become a doctor and break into those 400 miles per hour at about the same time. I don't know. I, I will definitely need a few more years to, to reach 400 and, and get that doctor. Say that Eva's uh, whole family is into, you know, as, as an engineer. Her mother's an engineer. I'm Eva. the last one to earn my engineering degree. <laughs> yeah, and her father, uh, uh, racing is in her blood. Her father was, uh, thank God he's older than me. Her father was a... Uh, 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 I rode racing in the 60s. In the 60s, and uh, very talented at, at both riding, and he also was very, is a very talented engineer. He designed the suspension and all, and a lot of parts on this for us. In Sweden, he'd send us over a drawing of something. And just like, like us, he was kind of the backyard racer, uh, building and racing in his spare time, never been on a big factory team or myself, never had any big sponsors. Yep. We, have, we have decent sponsors. Yep. We have very generous in-kind sponsors. Yes, we do. But nobody pays the, the, the bills. Pays They're... for gasoline and tires <laughs> and things like that. Next year we're definitely going to have, we're going to be faster, quite a bit faster. Yeah. We, 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 you know, we, we, we got a few things in stuff. We haven't done any real major, aero, you know, not technical aerodynamics on this vehicle yet. And that's planned for next year. We really will do, you know, we, we did some preliminary stuff when we're doing the design and then built it. And there's, the, when you end up building it, you just, well, it's got to be this shape. It's got to be that shape. It's whatever. It's got to be just in, inside a shell. And then we're going to try the shell and make... Uh, make it aerodynamic. So, say that this baby is still just a, actually a baby. It's three years old. It's finally starting to reach a kind of a mature state. Uh, building a streamline is many thousand hours of work, and that takes time if you only can work in, in evenings and weekends. She does it. <laughs> She's she builds this thing. I help, but she really has built this thing. She's you know well, she was out here at this event welding exhaust pipes for people. Exhaust pipe. That's funny. You know, it's like. We're gonna have weld an exhaust, another exhaust pipe, another exhaust pipe. Well, at least we don't have to weld exhaust pipes. So we, <laughs> we are one of the few teams that actually bring a well. We always bring a welder with us since this is a steel frame. And, and if you, if you don't bring a welder, you will need it. If you bring it, you typically won't need it. We didn't need it, but we had. Uh, I've welded four exhaust systems and one chain guard. So I thought that I, by building an electric motorcycle, I wouldn't have to touch anything that was oily or greasy anymore. <laughs> well, that that was a Definitely wasn't the case. So we've done some exhaust system work, but it's just fun. I mean, this is the this is kind of the culture and the whole. This is Bonneville. This is really the core of Bonneville. Uh, you helping each other and looking out for each other, and it's just fun. What we also like with Bonneville, and particularly uh, running a street. One other reason we built a streamliner is the safety in the streamliner. Um, uh, last time I did a try a two-wheeler, I ended up with three fractures, and that was kind of enough for me. And mm. then we decided I'm going to build something with a roll cage the next <laughs> time. But I, I so much like the biker culture that I didn't really want to build a car. And also, a car has four wheels; it needs a bigger trailer, it needs a bigger budget. So, a motorcycle streamliner, actually a sidecar streamliner, was the safest, fastest we could build on a limited budget. Because it is so easy. There is nothing else than a throttle, keep an eye on the gauges, and then push the brake shoot button when I'm done. And you can't That's be claustrophobic. It. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it is very, it, it, if you're claustrophobic, you don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm getting used to it at this point, but it was, 
the first run run was definitely the scary. <laughs> now I'm, I'm getting used to it. Well, I got a phone call a few years ago. Said Bonneville is where you need to be. So I packed it up and I headed west just to see what there was to see. By the speed bug I got bit. Now I just can't quit. I got the salt flat speed bug. Scream and scream, liners down to motor scooters and every motorcycle in between. Five full days of two wheel land speed racing. Well, that's what there was to be seen. By the speed bug I got bit. Now I just can't quit. I got the salt flat speed bug. Alky Hall race gas and a turbocharger help some motorcycles down the line. After a week of watching all these bikes, I'm here to say the Bubsy event is fine, fine, fine. Well, I don't know if I can wait a year. Come next September, I hope to be back here. Watching all the bikes and meeting all the folks. Hanging down at the bar and hearing some lousy jokes. By the speed bug I got bit. Now I just can't quit. I got the salt flats fever. They're on course. They're past the three. They're getting faster. Just look and see. Tucked down low and riding with a smile. Screaming on through that famous measured mile. Well, by the speed bug I got bit. Now I just can't quit. I got the salt flats fever right here at.